Repeat after me. Things are going incredibly well. Things are going incredibly well. And I'm not going to blow it. I'm not going to blow it. One element that I found so compelling about this series is the rotation of influences for everyone. Like Steve meets Irene, she helps him to see where he's losing money and where he could save. And he meets Dorothy, he meets Nick, Nick meets Denise, and, the, and they just it challenge each other's creative thinking and business moves. Who would you say has been like some of the greatest challengers of your thinking and the moves that you've taken as an artist and was there anyone that may have been a part of this series that have steered you in a different direction now that's a great question you know it's so lovely the way that you're framing these people all meeting each other in the in the first couple episodes and coming together to create both this magic and this conflict um yeah. you know it sets us up to to have some high stakes problems that we're gonna watch play out for the rest of the series. And, um, you know, as an actor, we sort of have the luxury of like the first day of work, the first day of school, like over and over again. And people in their adult lives don't have that experience as, as much as, as people like actors do. So that means we also, I always think that when I jump into a new project, I'm joining like a new family. And in this case, um, we truly felt like a family. It was just sort of a great love fest, especially when we were working on something sort of darker. And some people I had known from my from my time before this, like Andrew Rannells and Robin DeJesus. I, had, I was friends with them before. And then Murray and I have a m million mutual friends. Kumail and I have a million mutual friends. And so the same way that people in my life who I've become, you know, some of my dearest friends that I've worked with through work and then also you know I look back at meeting my husband and meeting my best friend and all of these people who change the way we look at the world and change the way we make the world um, mm. I would say that happened for these characters and then I think it happened for all of us in real life I think it was like such a surprising instant family um, you know, I, I would say I call these casts mates some of my dearest friends. So I, I think that they absolutely are, have changed the way that I look at art and are gonna change the way that I make art moving forward. Speaking of creativity, there's a, there's a great scene between Irene and Nick about Sisyphus and the fear of not being better than your last great creation. I think that's something that we all fear uh, when, when we have great success. And Irene offers some really great advice, but I'm curious, like, how often do the characters you play, including Irene, cause you to just kind of stop in your tracks a little bit and be like, man, I, I really needed to hear this in my own life, and now I'm speaking these words into existence for others? Like, what is that experience like? Absolutely. You know, it's so funny because I had just, I've just gotten to see the episodes myself, and that was a, a scene that we actually added later. We wanted to make sure that there was more connection, that the audience got to see Irene and Nick really connect and love each other um, early on. And that that line struck me as well as it's just sort of a great reminder that as you you know go into your next adventure um, that you, you feel like the weight of the adventure before when really you just have to dive in like Irene said and the other thing that's sort of beautiful about the character of Irene is she's such a caretaker and she takes care of everybody around her that was sort of unfortunately a product of the time that she was a woman in um, mm -hmm. and uh, you know she's such a unfortunately a product of the patriarchy but one of the special things that she does is when when Steve makes a choice that that she can't stand by she stands up for herself and she mm. steps away from him and I always thought you know the, the most I can ask for is to get to play complicated strong women and I feel like she's complicated in that moment she finally gets to be strong you ain't seen nothing yet oh, she said.